Hi guys, welcome to another All Things Tennis video. We've got the 8 Racket Challenge again for you today. Joined by Michelle, who's brand new to All Things Tennis. She's joined the team for 2023. She previously uses the V-Core 100, the black version, for about 2019. We're going to take her through eight rackets in her spec range today and see which one she's going to be using going forward. So Michelle plays a lot in the UK Pro League, a tournament we're proud to be affiliated with. She plays a lot in the Netherlands, she's got a ranking there. Her goal for 2023 is to get a WTA point and move forward and get the ranking. Okay, so Michelle's current spec range of her racket is 100 square inches and 300 grams. These two move away from that, okay? We've got a bit of variety in this eight racket challenge today. It's two 98s, okay? So you've got the brand new Pure Drive 98, okay? It's also the 98 version of the super popular Pure Drive, which is normally 100 square inches, and the Radical MP, which is the new Auxetic version for 2023. Tough quarterfinal draw this one, I think. We put the two 98s against each other just so we can get a nice comparison of how they play. Over to Michelle, what do you think was the major difference? Let's talk about from the baseline, ground strokes, when you're grooving your ground strokes. What was the major difference between the two, do you think? I mean, I really love the way it came off my racket from this racket. Mm -hmm. I felt like I had more control with this, but a bit more like snap and spin with you know, this one, I really liked it. The timing was good. And this one, I felt like I had to swing my arm more to get that power, but more control overall. When you're coming to the net, volley's trying to put the ball away. Did any of the rackets work better for that? Yeah, I felt like this one okay. stuck out to me more than this one. Yeah, I found it hard to get it in the middle with mm -hmm. this one. I don't know why, maybe the frame is a bit thicker. I'm not sure, but yeah. Yeah, mm. I definitely think you've got a slightly thicker frame than the Pure Drive. Yeah. Even though it's a thinner frame than the 100 square inches, it definitely gives you a bit more pop. Mm. We're seeing that with Michelle's ground strokes. The Pure Drive does give you that extra bit of power within the 98 package, so that makes sense. Let's talk about what kind of players you'd recommend these to then. What kind of game styles might be suit? I would give this to someone that likes to play spin because they could have extra spin with it, mm -hmm. which I think could be really beneficial. But even someone that hits the ball flat and they want a bit more spin, I would maybe recommend them to try it mm -hmm. and see how they feel with it as well, you know? And then radical? I would give this to an all-rounder, maybe. Yeah. Someone yeah. that doesn't have like uh, any sh like super shots that stand out. Just mm -hmm. someone that likes to hit the ball medium pace and just runs a bit like it's a runner, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, that's entirely what the radical is all about. It's a racket that does everything well, I think. You tell from our mm -hmm. review, it's an all-rounder racket. It's an all-court player, I describe it as. Pure Drive, you're looking at big power, multiplier. I think this 98, which was previously the Pure Drive VS, is giving that extra bit of control. So if you're maybe a fan of Bablax, you found them a bit wild in terms of power. This really keeps the ball in court, and I think it's going to be super popular model for Bablat this year, to be honest. We're probably leaning towards this one in terms of a bit more easy power. Yeah, for me personally, yeah. <laughs> okay, there you have it. The Pure Drive 98 reaches the semi-final. <laughs> a tough draw for the Radical MP. Okay, guys, so the next quarter-final, we've got the Blade. Wilson Blade 98. Again, varies a little bit from the spec she was using, but you've got to have it in there. It's such a popular racket. It's a beautiful looking racket as well, so we had to have it in there, the blade. Versus the Dunlop CX400 Tour, a bit of a mouthful, but it's 100 square inches and 300 grams, so it fits exactly within a specs range. And the Blade 98, which is 305 grams. Talk us through the Dunlop. What was your overall, you picked it up, out the bag, started hitting, first impression? I actually quite liked it. I wasn't expecting it. I felt like it was a bit of an underdog coming in, but... It actually felt really nice, like I was getting quite a lot of control with it and the ball was coming off the racket really smooth. I, I really loved it, it was quite good. Moving forward, uh, when you're volleying, trying to pick volleys off, what did you think? It was actually good, I felt really solid, I was hitting it a lot in the middle. I really liked it, it was good overall, I definitely liked it. It's a great racket I think the CX400 Tour, it's a control orientated frame. 
if you look at the frame, it's not a wildly thick frame. It's not wildly spin friendly, I'd say, in terms of aerodynamics, but it's a control orientated frame with the 100 square inch head. So it's something quite unique in the market. I think Dunlop have had that. Okay, so the blade in comparison. She had a bit of a smile on her face when she picked this up and was playing with it. Give us your impressions and ground strokes. What did you think? I really loved it. I really liked it. I wasn't expecting it because I normally play with a hundred head, but this, and this is 98. So I wasn't expecting it to love it. But the minute I like the first shot, I was like, that's coming off the racket. It's so nice. And I was getting a mixture of everything like power control, but like not too much power where, so it was just that perfect balance for me. Felt so nice. The racket felt very sturdy. So I really enjoyed it. And then moving forward, volleys in terms of being a 98, maybe a bit more maneuverable. Did you miss it being forgiving compared to a 100 or not? Uh, yeah, I did. I, I sometimes hit the frame, but I don't know if that's just me adjusting from the head size. But once I got the pattern, it was just going really solid. Every ball, I felt really good with it. Okay, and then let's talk about serves. I personally love this to serve with. I think flat down the tee also sliced as well, but what did you think? I liked it. I definitely yeah. liked it. I was getting that snap on the tee, but if I wanted to get that spit, like slice out wide, I can also get it. So it was, like I said, it's really like you get a mixture of both. Like you can go flat and you can go spinny slice. I really liked it. Mm. Okay. Dunlop had a tough draw. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. <laughs> Blade going through to the semi-final. Okay. Blade 98. Okay. We're on the bottom half of the draw now. We've got the Ultra 100, the 300 gram version. For me, Wilson have smashed the Blade paint job, but this, I absolutely love the look of this new Ultra. Really nice, stylish racket versus the E-Zone 100. I mean, this is super popular for us at All Things Tennis. Lots of our ATP sponsored players have moved to that. So Katie Stresnikova started using this one, the E-Zone 100. What did you think, seeing as it's in your hand, that the E-Zone 100, talk us through it. Again, I really liked it. It was really nice. Um, I was hitting the ball a bit flatter with this racket. The ball was going slightly lower over the net. But I like to hit quite powerful and it was adding even more power. It just came really easy. Like I didn't have to put a lot of energy into it for my ball to come off the racket with a lot of power. So it was just really kind of like an easy racket to play with for me. Could you get grooved in the same way with the Ultra? No, I personally didn't really love this racket for me. Uh, I felt like I had to like swing my arm a lot to generate some type of power. It was coming off the racket pretty flat and there was not a lot of spin with it. I, it has pretty good control, but there wasn't anything special that stuck out to me. I mean, when I was hitting with this one to the back, I felt like flat power shots, they come off nicely, yeah. but it's a balance. Maybe you'd add a little bit of weight to the bottom of the racket, make it a little bit more headlight if you wanted a bit more width. Or maybe this suits someone that's coming through the back of the ball a bit flatter powerful flat strokes I'd say. Let's talk about at the net. Okay, similar specs, both 300 grams, 100 square inches. Could you tell a difference when volume? Yeah, I did. I felt like this racket had a bit of a lighter head. So I felt when I was swinging for the volley, it was a lot of air time. Like I felt like with this, I was just, it was there. The racket weight was right in front of me. It was coming off the racket really nice and bouncy. Whereas this one, I didn't really feel that control like with this one. Mm. Okay. On serves, what do you think comparing the two? Uh, out of all rackets, I got the most power from this. Like I really was shocked by it. So I got a lot, generate a lot of power. And this one, I, like I said, it was a bit like the ground strokes. I always had to swing a lot to get power with it. So it wasn't for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So pretty conclusive, I mm. think, this quarter final. I'm going to be shocked if you say this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's this one. It's okay. a winner. All right. The Yonex E-Zone 100 through to the semi. So that completes the semi-final. No, it doesn't. <laughs> We've still got one more quarter final. <laughs> okay, guys. So the last quarter final, we've got the battle of spin. Okay. We've got the Vehicle 100, which is spin friendly before, but the new generation is even more spin friendly. Okay? It's a real monster in terms of the spin department versus the best racket for power and spin over the last 10 years for me, the Babylon Pure Aero. Okay, so this is the 2023 version of Aero. They've managed to make that a little bit softer in the feel, which I think is a really nice thing they've added 
and a slightly tighter string bed on the new Aero, which gives you a little bit more control. The first impressions of the Aero then? Uh, I liked it. It felt pretty nice. Uh, I've played with Jonix and I feel like they are very different to each other. So this one felt very soft, like you said, very light. I was getting a lot of spin with it and also control. So I really enjoyed it actually because I hit the ball quite flat. It was forcing me to have that control. So it was like a perfect balance for me. Okay, good start for the area. Yeah. <laughs> okay, compare it then on the ground strokes. These two are obviously both spin friendly. Is yeah. there a difference in kind of power generation or feel from the back of the ground strokes? Yeah, I personally felt like I had more power with the V-Core. Uh, the ball was coming off my racket a bit better for me personally. So it has a bit of everything because I like to hit it flat, like I said, but it was giving me control, a spin, but not like where I'm like, whoa, it's too much. So it's just a perfect balance. I really love that. Go on then, ground straight from the back. If you were going for a pure top spin, which one for you? It's honestly close, but I would say this one wins. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, Raph is not going to be happy. Or sorry. Alpha, I'm or sorry. Room. Right, okay, so volleys, moving forward then. Which one was easier to volley with? This one. Okay. Yeah, I kind of felt more control with it. It feels more of a sturdy racket to me. Uh, and this one felt more lightweight, like I had with the previous rackets, like it felt a bit whiffy, like, but this one is very sturdy, so I felt like I was hitting it clean every time. Serves, okay. Let's talk about flat down the tee, which one would you get more free points from? <laughs> this one. Yeah, again. Okay. Tough one then, mm -hmm. which one is it going to be in terms mm -hmm. of making up the semi-final? This one. This one, okay. <laughs> yeah. So the semi-final lineup, we've got two 98s and two 100s. You've got the Blade 98, the Pure Drive 98, followed up by the Vehicle 100 and the E-Zone 100. So that's the semi-final lineup. Okay, guys, so the first of the semi-finals. Not sure Yonit's going to like this one. It's the V-Core versus the E-Zone. One of them's going out. Okay, so let's talk about the ground strokes from the back, okay? What does the V-Core do differently to the E-Zone? Okay, so with the V-Core, I felt that spin a bit more control. And yeah, it overall felt so good. And with the E-Zone, I felt more power. Like overall, the ball was flying over the net a lot lower than with this racket. Um, so both of them are just so different from each other, but feel so good. I feel like it really depends on the player. So I'm more of an aggressive, powerful player. So I think it suits me more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Tough one. Okay. Moving forward, volleys. Could you notice any difference between the two? Uh, honestly, they were really similar. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say there was a big difference, something that stood out to me. Serves. Let's talk about match point, biggest match <laughs> of your life. You're going flat down the tee, <laughs> down the middle. Which one are you taking? This one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I felt a lot of power with it. I was actually quite shocked. Like from the first serve, I immediately hit with a lot of power and a lot of snap on the ball. So I really enjoyed it. <laughs> okay. All right. So ground strokes. You think slightly the E-zone, that bit of extra power. Yeah. <laughs> Volleys. E-Zone, mm -hmm. serves E-Zone. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry Vico, it's not your day, you've gone out in the semi-finals. So the first finalist of the day is the E-Zone 100. Okay guys, so the second semi-final, you've got the Blade 98. Okay, different than her specs would be normally. It's a very more control oriented frame than the 100 inch. Thinner beam, it's a lovely feeling racket, I think, but it does control really well. You're maybe not going to get the same power out of this in the 100. I think that's fair to say. Versus the Pure Drive 98. As 98s go, I think that's going to be one of the most powerful 98s in the market. A nice mixture between power and control. Ground strokes between the two. What do you think? I felt with this one, I was. We said like we get a lot of spin with it. Uh, but with this one, I felt a lot of control. Like I felt like wherever I wanted to hit the ball, it was going exactly there. And it was just doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Where this one has more power, I, like more snap on it. I personally felt like this one was more suited to my style. What do you think in terms of volleys coming to the net? Uh, again, I would say the Wilson wins that round. 
I felt like I had like I was hitting it in the middle a lot. It was just coming really nice off my racket. Serves, maybe flat down the tee. Which one do you reckon? This one for flat down the tee. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? Just because you're able to pick your spots more, and would you get yeah. more power? I would say it's more because I can pick my spots more. Whereas this one, I would say it might give me a bit more power, but I prefer that control, honestly. Yeah. So, <laughs> Blade 98 through to the final. It's going to take on the E Zone 100. So, you've got slightly different brackets there making it through to the final. Let's see which one takes the title. Okay, so, through to the final, we've got an E Zone 100. You've talked about how you like the power you're getting from it. Slightly flatter in terms of your ground strokes, I think it's fair to say, but you're getting mm -hmm. a bit more depth. The serve, probably one of the best rackets of the day in terms mm -hmm. of serves. Yeah. Okay, so you tough for the blade. <laughs> also, let's just say it, YouTube. What different rackets we've got in the final, okay? We knew it was the 100 square inch 300 grams, but now we've got a super controlled Blade 98. That's all it does, really, in terms of control and feel. It's not a powerful racket. Versus an E-Zone 100, which is a very easy to play with powerful racket. So, ground strokes, I guess you're going to say you've got much more control with the blade, more power with the E-Zone. Can you tell which one you like better? It's such a difficult decision because both things are so great to have in tennis. But I think easier. Easier for ground strokes. Yeah, okay. it's easier on the arm, you know. Okay, okay, a bit more power. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be a tough one, I think. Moving forward to the net, volleys. Would you say volleys is probably your least favorite thing to do? Yeah. Yeah. I try to do it, but yeah. So volleys, which one would you feel most comfortable with at the net then? Actually, this one, I would say. It has more of that control. I can pinpoint the ball. So, yeah, that's all right. I mean, I've got no clue what she's going to say. I'm not even sure Michelle does at this stage. Which one, in terms of serves, then, are we looking at? Go on. So, I'll say it again. Match point. You've got one serve. Which you've taken out your bag to serve with? I mean, which one do I want? Accuracy or power? I don't know which one is better in a situation like that. I think this one. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else we're missing? Color? <laughs> Personally, yeah. they're both so beautiful, but this one just is wow. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. oh, look at it. <laughs> Looks wise, Blade takes it over the easy. Come on, Michelle, put us out of our misery. What is it going to be? Uh, easy. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Easy 100 takes the title out of the eight rackets we played with today. She had a great clean ball with it. It does give you a really nice balance of power and control. Maybe suits a slightly flatter hitter than, say, the Yonex v 100. The blade really shone today in terms of control. If you're after control, look no further than the blade. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well so we can give you more videos like we are today and support more top talents like Michelle going forward for their season for 2023.